Peripheral artery disease, or PAD, affects millions of people worldwide. It occurs when the blood vessels in your legs and feet become narrowed or blocked, leading to pain and other serious complications. But did you know there are four different types of medical practices that can actually help treat PAD? Let's explore the four main types of specialists who can help manage and treat your PAD. Vascular medicine, vascular surgeons, interventional cardiologists, and interventional radiologists. Let's start with vascular medicine specialists. They focus on the diagnosis and medical management of vascular diseases, such as peripheral artery disease. They use medications and lifestyle changes to help improve blood flow and reduce your symptoms. All PAD patients should have one, as conservative approaches are frontline treatment for PAD. Next up, we have vascular surgeons. Vascular surgeons are experts in surgical procedures to restore blood flow throughout the body except the heart. They perform operations like bypass surgery and endarterectomy to improve circulation, but they can also offer hybrid approaches that include advanced minimally invasive techniques such as angioplasty, atherectomy, thrombectomy, lithotripsy, and stenting in order to clear blockages and restore blood flow to your legs. However, patients should make sure the vascular surgeon works with an interventional cardiologist or cardiologist to support their patients who may also have heart conditions and need evaluation prior to any procedure. Speaking of interventional cardiologists or ICs, Interventional cardiologists use minimally invasive techniques that don't require big surgeries to treat PAD. They are experts in using these tools and methods. Now, originally they focused on opening arteries in just the heart, but now many also treat narrowed arteries in the legs. The idea is that if they can work on the small twisting arteries in the heart while it's beating, they can handle the straighter arteries that remain stagnant in the legs too. Since three out of five people who do have a heart attack also have PAD, it's important for all PAD patients to have an interventional cardiologist or cardiologist on their team. However, patients should also make sure their interventional cardiologist or cardiologist works with a vascular surgeon in case surgery is in fact needed. On to interventional radiologists or IRs. IRs use image-guided techniques that don't require big surgeries to treat PAD either. They can do treatments like angioplasty and atherectomy to clear blockages and improve blood flow. An interventional radiologist was the first in the U.S. to use these minimally invasive techniques to open a blocked artery for a woman in Oregon who was going to have her leg amputated. These IRs are experts in using these minimally invasive tools like wires and catheters to navigate the blood vessels throughout the body, including the lungs, the kidneys, and even the liver. So treating leg arteries in PAD patients is just a natural extension of their skills. However, patients should also make sure their interventional radiologist works with a vascular surgeon in case surgery is needed, and also an interventional cardiologist or cardiologist because again, Three in five people who suffer a heart attack have PAD, so it's important to have that. Now, all practices have value for patients, though. Sometimes a patient may need one practice, and other times training PAD requires a multidisciplinary approach involving more than one type of specialist. No one single practice is right for every single patient, and every doctor does provide a unique perspective. Choosing the right doctor for you depends on many factors, including your location, your insurance, and of course, the stage of PAD that you're in. Whether you're asymptomatic, experiencing intermittent claudication, or facing critical limb-threatening ischemia, key is to find a doctor with the right skill set for your individual needs. When selecting a PAD specialist, it's important to get multiple opinions from different doctors in different practices to explore all available treatment options. Different doctors have different philosophies and different techniques. While some may not treat below the knee, others actually specialize in advanced limb salvage techniques, 
which include below the knee and below the ankle interventions, such as a Hail Mary procedure known as deep vein arterialization, where doctors hijack a vein to reroute blood flow into the foot to heal a wound. Now remember, get a second opinion, get even a third opinion, even a fourth if need be before any procedure because many times no procedure is actually needed if a regimented walking program and other lifestyle modifications coupled with pharma therapy are actually followed. So make sure to check into that as well. Also more than 60% of all amputations they're performed without a doctor even trying to open up the arteries in the leg. Disturbing, right? That goes against national PAD management guidelines. If you need help selecting the right doctor for you, visit the Global PAD Association's website at padhelp.org and navigate to their Find a Doctor page or call their LegSaver hotline at 415-320-7138. Remember, managing PAD is a journey and finding the right specialist can make all the difference in the world. Take the first step towards better vascular health today.